cat and a mouse. Total uh, max score is 15, 15 points we will get. So obviously, if I score this, one star I will get, okay. Now, I will come down a little bit. Now, problem, two cats and a mouse are at various positions on a line. So, there is a line, there are two cats and one mouse, they are in different positions. You will be given their starting positions. Your task is to determine which cat will reach the mouse first. Assuming the mouse does not move and the cats travel at equal speed. If the cats arrive at the same time, the mouse will be allowed to move and it will escape while they fight. Okay. You are given Q queries in the form of X, Y, Z representing the respective positions of cat A, B and, and for mouse C. Complete the function cat and mouse. That is the name of the function. Now, what will this cat and mouse take as input? Cat and mouse will take three values uh, as input. It is going to take uh, uh, X which is the location of cat A, Y location of cat B, Z location of mouse C and what should it return? Come down, see what it, what it should return is it should print cat A. Uh, if, if cat A catches the mouse first, it should print cat A. If B catches cat B, if both arrive at the same time, then it must print mouse C because mouse can escape. And they have given you an example. See, assume there is a line like this. Cat A is at position 2. Cat B is at position 5. Mouse is at position 4. Is 2 closer to 4 or is 5 closer to 4? Any day 5 is closer to 4 which means the second cat will reach the mouse faster. I mean the second cat will reach the mouse faster which means who will get to eat the mouse? Who will get to eat the mouse is cat B and that is why you must return cat B. Function description. See, complete the cat and mouse function. It takes three values x, y, z returns either cat a, cat b, mouse c which are nothing but strings. Okay, cool. Let us go and uh, let us visualize this code so that you can understand the question better. Let us visualize the uh, program. I will just remove my editor for the time being. Okay boss, now listen. What I am going to do is like this. They have given the different scenarios are there. Let us try and understand. This is the number line. Okay. Let us assume that initially cat A is at 2, cat B is at 4, mouse is at 6. Obviously, they will both the cats will start moving together. Who will reach the mouse faster is nothing but the cat which is closer to the mouse. See, I am just showing you. Uh, this is cat A, cat B, cat C, X, Y, Z. Okay. Now, cat A also moves, cat B is also moving. Both are moving. Okay. Now, again, if they move, cat A moves, cat B moves, who is going to reach first is cat B. Of course, they will move together. I showed you moving one by one, but they will be moving together. Obviously, if they see a mouse, both of them will run. So, cat B reach, so your output should be cat B. Any confusion? Similarly, scenario number 2. In scenario number 2, let us assume uh, this is uh, the positions X, Y and Z. So, cat B is here cat A is here and mouse C is there. Of course, this should have been X, that should have been Y, this should have been Z. There is a small mistake, do not worry about it. But the point is that who is going to reach faster? Who is closer to the mouse? So, naturally, who is going to reach first is cat A, right? And obviously, your output has to be cat A. Next, the next scenario looks something like this, wherein you have your uh, uh, cat, a, uh, cat A, B and C. So, both of them are starting at the same position. Forget about this x, y, z and all. Both are starting at the same position. If both are starting at the same position, then both will reach the mouse at the same time only. If they reach the mouse at the same time, then they will start fighting. Mouse will escape. So, the output has to be mouse C. Any confusion till here? Did everyone understand the question? Put a yes in the chat if you have understood the question. I am asking only question boss. Okay, good. Very good. Great. Great, great, great. Hmm? Now, let us proceed. Now, the thing is, 
watch it. Here what I am going to do is now let us try to write a logic ok. This is how it is. Clearly if just I give you the positions of both the cats and I give you the position of the mouse. Any day you will tell cat uh, A will win because mouse is at 4, A is at 2, B is at 7. Who is closer? Which distance is smaller? See this is the distance whereas this is the distance. Naturally, naturally this guy is going to reach faster. So all you have to do is calculate the distance between the mouse and cat A, calculate the distance between the mouse and cat B and whichever distance is lesser prana or announce that cat as the winner. That is it. How are we going to do it? Very simple. Okay. So, obviously who is going to be winning here is cat A. That is fine. But uh, anyways, so I had to calculate this distance. Now, how will you calculate this distance? We will call the distance between the mouse and cat A as D1. We will call the distance between the mouse and cat B as D2. So, what I will do is D1 is Z minus X. Why did I do Z minus X? Because as you can see, I have put two pi characters here. Because I want the absolute value of the distance. I want the absolute value of the distance, guys. Because I do not want negative value here. Okay. So, very simple. Z is greater than X. Then I will subtract Z minus X. If X was greater than Z, then I will subtract X minus Z. Because I want positive value. How will you calculate D2? And of course, this is 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 is nothing but 2. Similarly, here as you can see, uh, the D2 I want. D2 is nothing but Z minus Y. And obviously, if I do 4 minus 7, I will get a negative value. That is why I want absolute value. So see, that is what I am showing. 4 minus 7 is minus 3, but I do not want the sign. So it will be 3. Clearly, you can notice which of the distance is smaller D1. So, obviously D1 has to win and that is what I have also shown. Okay. Now, final uh, scenario. In the final scenario, this is how it looks like. So, cat A, cat B and uh, naturally you can see here also two units distance, here also two units distance. So, naturally they are going to arrive at the same time. If they arrive at the same time, all it means is that both their distances was the same. That is why mouse has escaped. So, all you have to do is calculate D1 which is uh, nothing but 4 minus 2 which is uh, 2. Calculate uh, this one also absolute value. So, you will get minus 2 but 2. If at all D1 is equal to D2 then you know mouse C. If in case D1 is less than D2 then cat A. If in case D2 is less than D1 then cat B. I hope the logic is clear to everyone. Let us go and write some code. Before I proceed, is the logic clear to everyone? Put yes in the chat if logic is clear to everyone. Now, logic is clear. Beautiful. Let me bring up my editor. Now, in my editor, in my editor, what I am going to do is, <coughs> listen guys. So, what I am going to do here is, uh, this utopian tree is there. I will remove all this or you can just minimize it and keep it. Because we will see all the functions. So, this uh, this part you can maybe remove it. Yeah, that part you remove. Okay. And guys, I will give you the code. I will give you this function code for all the programs that we solved in today's class plus the assignment problems which you must do. And uh, please understand, do not try to impress me. I have nothing to gain from this. If at all there is anybody who is going to gain anything from it, it is you. So, take it seriously, solve the assignments because it will help you, it will boost your confidence, nothing for me. Hmm? Anyways, I will go here and I am going to create one function. So, the name of the function is cat and mouse, I will paste that. You have copied it I think. No? Okay, no problem. Cat and mouse is what hacker rank had told us. Cat and mouse. And do you see the name of the function, how I am writing, remove the cursor. Whenever there are multiple method, whenever there are multiple words in a name of a function, we use something called as camel case. First word, everything is small. 
second word first letter will be capital then rest small third word first letter will be capital rest small utopian tree had two words so utopian first word is always all letters small second word first letter capital rest small these are certain conventions we follow okay anyways this should accept what it should accept we will see what it should accept is three values x y z x is location of cat a y location of cat b z the location of mouse c so i'll tell int x that is the first value comma int y that is the second value comma int z i will tell so a function can accept multiple parameters no problem i'll put the body sir here you told int sir here why you didn't tell anything ah, what to tell we will see but for the time being i'm leaving it empty now come here okay now what i will do is x y and z is given to you i want to calculate two distances d1 d2 d1 for cat a d2 for cat b so what i will do is i'll create an integer value d1 and initially i will make the distance the value as zero initially i'll make it as zero doesn't matter next i will tell int d2 and i will tell i'll make that also zero I'll ultimately at the end of this i should get the value d1 which is the distance from x and z d2 should have the distance between y and z but absolute values so what i will do is i'll press enter now here what i'm going to do is very simple guys now i'll press enter first of all if i do not want see first let's find d1 i want to find d1 if I do not want d1 to be a negative value, then very simple. I have x, which is the distance of cat, uh, cat A's position. I have z, which is mouse, uh, mouse C's position. Now, cat A's position and mouse C's position, if mouse C's position value is greater than cat A's value, then if I subtract x minus z, I will get a negative value. So, if x is less than z then i should subtract z minus x whereas if x is greater than z then i should do x minus z then i will get i'll never get negative value so see what i will do so i'll just tell if in case if in case and i will check is x less than z if x is less than z we know that we must tell me should i subtract x minus z or should i subtract z minus x to get positive value tell me in the chat x minus z or z minus x z minus x z minus x very good absolutely correct so you got it so see within that bracket i will go and there i will tell uh, d1 equal to z minus x else okay else and here you can make it as uh, less than equal to also because even if it is less or even if it is equal to both cases i'll do that now if it is not less if it is not even equal to then it means it is greater so if it is greater just do x minus z so d1 equal to x minus z that's all guys simple so you got the absolute value of d1 that's what this code does actually in java there is one built-in function you can just call that built-in function and you can accept it's called abs abs function which will give you the absolute value but usually in hr interviews they recommend that you do not in technical coding interviews you must not use built-in functions because hr wants to think or see whether you are able to come up with logics okay anyways come down uh, now uh, uh, what I will do, same thing D2 I want. So I'll just copy this code, paste it again. I'll copy it, paste it again. All I'm going to do is, I will make this as Y less than equal to Z. That is mouse, uh, cat B's position. If so, I will do Z minus Y. Otherwise, I'll do Y minus Z. That's all. And I will make this as D2 because it is D2 which I'm calculating. That's it. Now, now comes the important part. Scroll it, bring it on top. Yeah. Now I will come and I will check if in case d1, d1 equal to d2, I will say. 
if d1 is equal to d2, it means both their distance from the mouse is same, which means they will reach at the same time. If they reach at the same time, they will fight, mouse will escape. And according to hacker rank, I must return a string called as mouse c. And that's what I will do. I will tell return. Now what to return? I want to return a string. Now how will you show a string in Java? Strings are always represented within double quotes. So, see double quotes I will put. And within that, what is a string you may ask? String is nothing but a series of characters. So, within that I will tell mouse C. That is it. Any confusion? Beautiful. Now, I will come here and I will tell presenter else. If in case, again I will check a condition. Uh, what will I check? I will check if in case d1 is less than d2. If d1 is less than d2, mo, uh, mo, cat A is closer to mouse C, obviously he will reach faster. So, what should I return? I will tell return and what must be returned is mouse, I mean sorry, cat A, that is what should be returned. Cat A. Else, otherwise. Otherwise, again no need to check if and all because if it is not equal to, if it is not less than, it means it is greater than. If it is greater than, then what it means is that D2 is closer to the mouse which means cat B, that is what I should tell, return cat B. Any confusion till here? Now, now look, what are you returning? Now, please understand guys, you will not return all three values, only one of these values you will return because if this, then only this will execute, this will not execute, this will not execute. If not this, then you will check if this, if this is true, only this will execute, this will not execute. If this is also not true, only then this will execute. So, at any given point in time, only one thing you will return, but what are you returning? What you are returning is a string. That is what you should also go on top and say that cat and mouse is a function which accepts three integer values and after execution returns a string. Are we able to think? Not only that, we want this function to be just like utopian tree where we can call it without using a uh, object. So, I will tell static. Great, nice, awesome. So, I will come down now. What I will do is here I will just I only will give some x, y, z value. So, I will tell int x equal to 2, uh, next uh, int y equal to 5 and I will tell int z equal to 4. Obviously, you can notice who is closer to the cat is, uh, I mean who is closer to the cat is b, cat b is only y. So, cat b should be our output. So, what I will do for this is I will come down and there I will tell, I will call the function. So, the function name is cat and mouse and x, y and z I will pass to it, type it out always. Next what I will do is I will go put semicolon and you know this will return a string that I will collect it in a variable. So, I will call that as string, uh, maybe I will call it as result R E S. who won? res I'll call it as. I'll just print result. So system dot out dot print ln res I will tell. Okay, cool. Will it work? Will it not work? Why you are asking me? Please ask the computer. So I will go there and I will put in the relevant command. I'll compile it. Uh, no issues. I will execute it and uh, cat b is finished. Great. So now let's go. Let us copy that function body and paste it in hacker rank. I will copy this entire function body and uh, I will just paste it in hacker rank. So, I will scroll down. and I uh, will increase the size, yeah. If I come see there is a function, static string cat and mouse, there I will just paste it, I will paste it. I will go click on run code. 
So hacker rank passed uh, only one test case and uh, it, uh, but in one test case it passed two different sets of values. So 1, 2, 3 obviously cat B will win. 1, 3, 2 obviously mouse C will win because they will reach at the same time. Okay. So expected your output matching. Now I will go submit the code. If I submit the code then uh, success or oh, it has passed two cases. Okay. Oh see hacker rank is congratulating you. You got your first star. I will be able to think. Anyways, you earned your first star. Very good. Continue. Just three more stars to go. How difficult can it be? Scroll on top, show me my star. No. Exit it. Oh, it's not showing me my star. Where is it? Oh, no, it's not showing. Where is it showing? Oh, yeah, correct, correct. One star has come. Okay, one star I got. Very good. Awesome. Okay, great. So, shall we proceed to solve more questions or are you bored? Hmm? Shall I continue or stop? Because I don't know, maybe you guys are bored, who knows. Hmm? Tell me, continue or stop? Hmm? Great, great. Okay. Okay, okay, awesome, awesome. So, majority says continue, one or two people says stop, sir. But okay, that's fine. Anyways. Okay, great. Please close it.